Thank you for your service. Thank you. We did hide. Okay. I'm going. Okay. <laughs> um, so, um, Cheryl and Tora and Dwayne, I don't know if you know about Quilts of Valor. Quilts of Valor was started in 2003 um, by a mother who uh, sub was serving in Iraq. And she had a dream of, and she saw a soldier on his cot surrounded by his war demons. And the next vision was a, an image of the soldier wrapped in a quilt. And he suddenly, he, he felt warm and comforted. So she was inspired by that and she made a quilt and she took it to Walter Reed and she gave it to a soldier who had been injured. And then she went to her quilt guild and she recruited other quilters to also um, make quilts, of, quilts uh, and take them to Walter Reed. And soon it became a group and they formed a foundation called Quilts of Valor. And our mission is to, to honor and serve and comfort and heal service members touched by war. So, um, Dwayne, um, I would like Dwayne to tell us a little bit about his service okay. in the military. Yes, not a problem. I went in in uh, 1979 in November. I was actually 17 years old. My mom had to sign me. I, I turned 18 years old in basic training. And uh, my last name was Battle, so I caught trouble right off the bat when I got in, this, in the military, you know, just having the last name Battle. You know, so uh, when I went in, it was one of the best things that I could have ever done because I was originally from Chicago and back in 79, things were just, you know, hectic. Let's just put it that way for a young person. So when I went in, that turned my life around and uh, I'm a better man because of it. And uh, I did a tour of Germany. I, I explained to the one lady when I first got here, I was in Darmstadt. I love the country. I love the food. Uh, uh, oh, that good verse. Great, great food. I, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm in love with the Jaeger schnitzel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and my wife, she, she's also in love with the schnitzel. But uh, when I was over in Germany, uh, I ended up, they found out I was a, out I was a close-up magician, so I ended up performing for the troops in, with the USO shows. Oh, wow. And I got to travel, and uh, I really loved that. That was awesome. Uh, I had to do it all over again. I did it just the way I did it then, you know. But I, it was fun. And uh, prior to leaving Germany, I, I had an injury that hospitalized me for six months. And uh, they couldn't do anything for me after uh, several surgeries, so they shipped me to Walter Reed Army Medical Center. And I stayed there for another four months, and they got me together. And when I got, got done with the hospital, I had exactly nine months left to do before the service was over with. So I got my orders. I figured they would keep me right there in D.C. where my orders said Fort Lewis, Washington. Yeah. So that was Washington State, 3,000 miles away. Uh, this was in 82 at this time. So I drove there from uh, Washington, D.C. to Washington State. I'll never forget, it took me three and a half days. That was back when you could pick up hitchhikers. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, uh, I drove there and I, I checked into my duty station probably 17 days early. Back at that time, you could cash that in and, and go ahead on and start serving. So that's what I did. And uh, what I didn't like about Washington State was it rained so much. Other than that, it was great. You know, two thirds of the year it was raining. You know, and so if you have any plans, you better plan them underneath a you know shelter. Uh, I got out in 1982 of November, and then I went into the National Guards in '83, and I served in the Guards from '83 to '86. Going into the military is one of the best things I could have ever, ever did. I, I preach to my grandkids all the time. You got to go in the service when you turn, you know, trying to, you know, build them up. I had nobody to build me up when I went in there, you know. I went in on the buddy system where you, you go in with someone else and you guys go through basic. Right. Together, and then you go to your duty station. And after that, they separate you. Uh, everybody that I went in with, a lot of them, I, I'm not sure where they are or what happened to them. We kind of, over the years, we kind of lost touch. But I, I, I know one thing, uh, those were, it was a hell of a group of guys that I was stationed with. And uh, they had my back, even though I, when I served, I, I was in doing peacetime. And I, I never got to, you know, like the guys now, you know, in time of war. So that's a whole different era there. But uh, like I said, I, I, I loved everything that I did. And standing here today, if I had to do it all over again, I would, you know. But um, I'm glad to, 
to receive this honor. Thank and, uh, you. Th yeah. We consider it a high civilian award. Well, so, okay. it's, um, so I would just like to say that each quilt, quilt of valor is made by loving hands that join these bits of fabric. You can open it. This quilt is meant to offer comfort and healing. It is not a present, it is an award. It is my honor to award with, um, to Dwayne Battle, a quilt of valor. We hope to bring you honor and comfort. And though we may never know the depth of your sacrifice to protect and defend the United States of America, as a gesture of gratitude from a grateful nation, please accept this quilt of valor. Okay. We're gonna wrap it around wrap it you. Me. Okay. Yes, yes. There you go. Thank you. Right, thank you. All right. And we have a we have a a tag for you to sign to attach to it okay. so that everyone will know where it came from. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.